Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro was an active volcano in its younger days and is the world's largest freestanding mountain. This means it is not part of mountain range but seems to grow from the surrounding plains into snow-capped peak. Where is it? Mount Kilimanjaro is almost on the equator in the northeast of Tanzania in East Africa. It lies just south of the Kenyan border in the Kilimanjaro National Park. The park starts at a 2,700-meter uh, uh, contour. The nearest town is Moshi. The mountain is about 130 kilometers from Arusha and just one hour from the Kilimanjaro International Airport. Kilimanjaro experience a trekking office is based in Arusha. What to expect? Kilimanjaro is the highest freestanding mountain in the world, but a large part of its appeal lies in its accessibility. You don't need to be seasoned, uh, you don't need to be seasoned pro or epic fitness to summit, though you will need plenty of willpower. We give you a detailed rundown of what to expect along the way. From your accommodation before you begin, ride through every aspect of your experience on the mountains. See what to expect for an initial overview. Fauna and flora. Kilimanjaro is composed uh, of five distinct ecological zones ranging from lush, humid rainforest to alpine desert and eventually the famous Arctic summit. As uh, passed through these different zones, you can see a range of interesting and rare flora and fauna, including Colobus monkeys and the endemic impatient Kilimanjari plant. Have a look at uh, flora and fauna to find out more on Google. The next is geography. The mountain is huge, freestanding lump of lava rising from the surrounding plains at 900 meters to almost 6,000 meters. It was an active volcano, but, but fortunately for climbers, it has been resting for thousands of years. Although, Mount Kilimanjaro lies about 330 kilometers south of Ecuador, it is topped uh, with a lovely layer of snow and glaciers. According to UNESCO report, the mountain has lost like 82% uh, of its ice cap since 1912 and 55% of its glaciers since 1962. Kilimanjaro formed after volcanic eruption million of years ago when three uh, volcanic cones were built out of this eruption. Shira, Mawenzi and Kibu. Shira in 3963 meters have been eroded to Lava Plateau and Mawenzi like 5149 meters is now a jagged half of volcanic rock but lava has formed a saddle between Mawenzi and Kibu. The group name for this mesh of lava and its three peak uh, is Mount Kilimanjaro. Uhuru Peak is the highest uh, the point on the Kibo crater and the highest point in Africa at 5,895 meters above sea levels and you can see the geography of uh, more details on Google. History While Kilimanjaro's geological history can be relatively accurately traced, the origin of the mountain names is harder to identify and has found a number of theories. While Many groups from the region had their own names for iconic mountain. The first recorded person to stand at the top of mountain was a German by name of Hans Meyer, though it is like that plenty of locals got there before him. And then the weather. With so many different climate zones and chains in altitude, the weather on Kilimanjaro can be rather unpredictable. Average rainfall and temperatures uh, vary depending on the seasons, but at any
any time of year climbers are advised to prepare for both warm and cold weather and for rain and dry conditions you can see the information you can see the geography or weather on google i think that's all the information that i can share to you i hope you like it thank you so much for watching don't forget to give like comment and subscribe